G'day. Picked this up on clearance the other day. Hey, Melissa and Doug. What is Clues and You Magnetic Picture Game? It's got 48 pieces. I was thinking about getting something for my two-year-old nephew who is enamored with both Blue's Clues and Magnets, chewing them and losing them under the fridge. This appears to be suitable for ages three and up. We'll see what happens there. Let me see on the back, like uh, the contents list. Uh, Josh, Magenta, Blue. All right, so in the back we have, it's a wooden magnetic picture game. You can hear the clunk on that. All right, let's tear it open. So we have this board, this bag, this bag, and that's it. So we have in this, it says we're supposed to have six frames or six backgrounds. There it is. Here's the house. Hey, the double side in the inside the house. On the big red chair. Play pit. This is pretty thin. They're just pieces of paper. This is junk. Recycle that. Okay, so in all we have four backgrounds. Here's the double sided. Alright, let's open up the stack of magnets. Yeah, that was handy. This is a resealable bag. It's gonna be loose. How thick is that? Is it blue? There's a bowl of it, meal. So I'll keep these bags for later. I'm gonna actually reuse them because I don't want things jostling too much in there. Hey, it's a birthday cake. Hi Josh. This feels like a very thin piece of metal. And we have suggested play pieces, play sets. Let's try put the outdoors on. We got this. Fits loosely, very loosely. That's a crazy amount of gap. I don't know if I'm supposed to tuck it in. Because I don't see anything suggest I have. Some leeway there. There's Josh. Okay, you yeah. know. This is very loose. Let me see if I can pick it up with just the pinkies. Okay. Just to simulate what like a little child's fingers could be. There's Josh in the front door. Where's the mailbox? Where is the mailbox? Mailbox hanging out front. Okay, so where's Blue with her kite? Let's go this way. And then Magenta skipping the rope. And now we have to figure out where the sun is. Do I have a sun? Here it is. All right, let's compare. One, two, three, four. I believe that's all I need. Okay, that one's complete. So I was looking for the instructions and realized it's on the it's on the bottom of the box. Which oh, which means everything is out. So I don't know what kind of three-year-old is gonna be following these rules, because I certainly wasn't. Let's try another scene. Oh I guess this is how you seal it. And this is where the magnets should have all been thrown into. Set that aside so I don't tear up the background. These magnets feel fairly thick. I don't know how many times you're going to chew through it before you're going to notice something. Next scene is let's go indoors with a big red chair. From the thickness of these, looks like these are all one sided, so you can't. Yeah, you can put her upside down, but you cannot put her facing out there. As well as, they do not click fast enough if you're just tossing them. Not like those big advertisement magnets you see. 
So these are deliberate. Let's have Josh on his thinking chair on the edge. Because who doesn't like it when a guest comes over and just sits on this, the armrest and then breaks it off and then, I don't know. Oh, look what we have here. A little bit of a flaking already. Mm. Hey, it looks like we found the Spicer family. Where are they going to go? And on the table, let's have an upper meal. Let's have Blue look out forlornly outside the window. That was also leave it out a carton of eggs because someone forgot to bring on all the groceries. They left it in the boot for a week and now they've got Halloween eggs ready to go. Here, let's have magenta skip rope in the middle of the room. Scene complete. How much does it match? Not at all. But that was deliberate. I don't think a child is going to look at this and want to always follow the rules. So let's have more than one magenta. Josh's doppelganger from the upside down waving in. This looks like bonus content over on the side. This ladybug, a birdhouse, a snail, and a watermelon. Found the snail. I guess I'm also supposed to be switching other locations to find the other things. Because I see the snail on the outside, pipette. Yeah, hey, found a watermelon slice right there. Let's clear the board. It's pretty easy. Oh, if you take off the rest. Fill them all off. Switch it out. And so on. Let's see who we have. How many Joshes do we have? We got one, two, three. I guess we only have three Joshes. But what is the collective now for Joshes? Let's see how many blues we can find. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's an odd number. So it's a pack of blues. Not to be confused with a pack of blueies. Let's put these away. Now let's count how many magentas we have. One, two, skipping rope. Three, tire swing. Four with a ladybug. Five in the cupcake. Six dancing them out. Seven scrolling on the paper. Eight. Oh, eight playing in the sand bit. Okay, that's probably not to outshine the star by having one less magenta than there is blue. Keeping it on order. And we have the rest of these. What do we actually have? In side characters, we have the salt and peppers, the soap. Shovel and pail, tickety talk, mailbox, that desk thing that looks like a bear, and that is it. Let's put this away. So, what we have left are a bunch of accessories, including balloons, a jug of lemonade, crayons, it's groceries in a re recyclable shopping bag, most paper, kitchen utensils. Picture frame with somebody's family, or maybe they're just friends. That looks like She Hulk and the thing. Rainbow with clouds. Hey, look, there's blue, and I think that's Stripes Show, which I believe is Steve. Oh, we have the sun. Oh, this picture frame of the bomb. Eggs. Birthday cake already open with cupcakes on the side because presents, some flowers, some oatmeal, a bowl of fruit. Make sure that uh, you keep the bananas away. Or Everything else will start to ripen real quick. Half drunk milk and half poured out. You can't, you can't tell me that's the same volume split out between them. Okay, okay so I've been playing this for a few minutes. Look at it. The scuffing on this. Looks like little black marks everywhere. It's poured away the kitchen pantry stuff. I believe the reason I give you the bags that are resealable is so that when you do pack it up, you throw it in. Put the background in. These bags are less likely to tear up your pieces of paper than just having them free reign. And I think I remember from the back it says, okay, so that's that's how you play. You actually want to close it and then flick in these elastic well that looks very tenuous. Look at the edge of that. This one doesn't even touch. It's not much of a toting. 
I don't know how much more I can get this to the edge. As they say, it's supposed to be a carry along. And yes, here's the string. But this is going to lip out and everything's going to spill. Oh, right. oh no, it's on the other side. I'm not too crazy about this being a carry along. You just leave it in the back corner, play it once in a while, don't take it around. It's not something you can cart about. See you next time on MathNet.